Is it possible to miss your window of opportunity to get back with the one you love? Can you always get back with an ex? Or is there a time factor linked to the process of getting back with an ex? Hello everyone, my name is Coach Adrian, and if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome. I've been expecting you. I am a relationship expert specialized in helping people find happiness in love. I am an expert in repairing broken relationships and in helping people evolve, work on themselves in order to inspire an ex to want to get back together. I started coaching, uh, doing personal development. And so my philosophy is based on the premise that if you evolve, if you identify some of the mistakes that you've made, some of your shortcomings, that it is in fact possible to get back with the one you love because you will be able to inspire them to like you did the first time around. I offer private coaching sessions and in my private coaching sessions or on my blog, people often ask me, is it possible to get back with my ex after X months or is it too late? And I wanted to do a video to discuss this notion of the window of opportunity to get back with an ex. First and foremost, yes, it's possible to miss the boat, right? If your ex finds someone else and um, is happily invested in their new relationship, then there's a chance that you won't be able to inspire the person that you love most. But, and this is important, that window of opportunity is usually far, far, far greater than you actually realize. To the point that, for a lot of people, the window of opportunity is almost endless, I would say. Why do I say this? Well, number one, people tend to let their fears and their insecurities consume them after a breakup. Because you're in a vulnerable position, you feel like the worst possible outcome is upon you. You feel like your ex probably has already forgotten about you because they didn't reach out to you for a few days. You feel like they will never love you again because they may have told you that they don't love you anymore. And so because you're in this vulnerable position, you tend to feel like the worst possible outcome will manifest itself and that you've lost them forever and that your window of opportunity may already be done. But the truth of the matter is your ex probably still has feelings for you. The truth of the matter is that your ex wants to move on, but it's a lot harder than they are letting out. Okay, Even if they're happy, even if they're posting on Facebook that they're having ton of, tons of fun and that, they're all the, and that they're doing all these new things, the truth of the matter is that it's difficult to find someone else that will actually make you happy. Ask some of the, your single friends or people um, that are not in relationships in your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your group, in your social circle, and you'll see that you know, it's tremendously difficult to find someone that you can build a life with. There is a time factor associated with this process of getting back together, but I don't want you to focus on that. It's one of the most difficult aspects of the process of getting back with an ex, because time is relative and you're in excruciating pain every second that goes on without this partner. But as long as you are focusing on the time that is passing, as long as you're focusing on the fact that you miss them so much and that you know, you're afraid of losing them, you're not in the right mindset to do the work, to lay the foundation to inspire them again and to lay the groundwork for a healthy relationship. So the more you focus on this question of, is it too late? And the less likely you are to actually win them back. Truth of the matter is, your ex can meet someone else while you are together. Infidelities happen all the time. Your partner can fall in love for someone else even though they're married to you. And people reach out to me all the time in these types of situations. The worst possible outcome is always a possibility, whether you were broken up with or not. So. Ultimately, it's about ensuring that you are in the right mindset to maximize your chances of winning them back. There are no guarantees in this process. 
And anyone that tells you that you have a 100% chance of getting back with your ex if you do X, Y, and Z is lying to you. Because in life in general, there are very few guarantees, okay? So it's all about maximizing your chances of getting back with the person you love. And in order to do that, you have to accept the fact that time is not necessarily playing against you. Why? Because if you are, if you have a plan, if you have a roadmap, as long as you're moving forward, as long as you are evolving and doing the right actions to find your peace and to be more attractive in the eyes of the person you love, then as long as you're doing that, time is working in your favor. Because the more time passes and the more you will be able to consolidate this evolution and prove to the one you love that you have indeed truly changed. And so you will be more attractive to them. So, to sum things up, is it possible to miss your window of opportunity? Of course it is, of course it is, right? Even if you do the right things. But the odds are overwhelmingly in your favor if you have a clear plan and if you stick to it. If you're not so focused on what your ex does, who they might meet, and if you're truly focused on you and what you are doing to make things right, to be happier, then the, your window of opportunity will be open long enough for you to prove to this person that you love that you are the right one for them. So don't hesitate to leave your comments and questions below to share a bit about your story and for me to tell you, you know, what the next steps are um, for you specifically to kind of advance this process forward. If you are still having issues with the time factor, after watching this video, please reach out to me or to my fellow coaches, book a coaching session so that we can work together. As long as you have a clear plan, as long as you know where you're heading, you're gonna be at peace. You will no longer be fearful of missing out on your opportunity if you're doing your homework, all right? Like this video, fuel my fire, and if you have any other topics that you would like me to address or Coach Natalie to address, leave some suggestions below and we'll try to address um, your most pressing concerns in future videos. I wish you all the very best. Keep fighting the good fight and see you soon.